The Braves and Mets both went quietly in the first but the Mets picked him up in the second against R.A. Dickey. Top prospect Dominic Smith led off the inning with a single and then Travis Darno brother of Braves legend Chase Darno followed with another single. Then, after a pop-up, Juan Lagas continued the singles spree which brought the first run into score. That brought up Gavin Cecchini who, you guessed it, single to right, field to score Darno. Then mercifully Lagas was caught in a rundown and Jacob de Grom popped out to end the inning. The Braves couldn't answer in the bottom of the second so the Mets continued to add on to the lead in the top of the third when Nori Aoki led off the inning with a double. After the double Brandon Nimmo hit one of his own scoring Aoki and bringing the Mets lead to 30. The drubbing would continue as Asdrubal Cabrera hit another double this time scoring Nimmo making the game 40 before and Rosario hit into a double play to end the inning. After another one, two, three inning from de Grom, the Mets continued to pound R.A. Dickey. He led off walk to Lagas came home to roost on a Cecchini double making the score 50. The Braves had a really rough game against de Grom, the usual, but finally broke through in the bottom of the sixth when Freddie Freeman scorched a home at a center brining the Braves within four at 51. Of course the Mets responded against Lucas Sims who entered the game to another Aoki double, then after a Nimmo walk, Dominic Smith doubled to score Aoki and Nimmo but Smith was thrown out at third by Ender in chart to end the threat of more runs at 71. The Braves added two more runs in the bottom of the ninth on ARBI single from Lane Adams to make the final score 73. Freddie Freeman as usual was one of the few bright spots in this game against the Mets as he went 24 with the lone Braves RBI.